I'm here. After a day of traveling yesterday, I've arrived at the uh, Klamath Valley area, all around this kind of giant, beautiful blue reservoir. It's a lot drier than the rainforest. Definitely reminds me a lot more of some of the forests I've kind of lived among and worked in in eastern Montana. Uh, I'm excited to start to kind of explore the area and I start uh, owl surveys tonight. Some days of adventure to come. Wanderlust in the new world. So I'm at a Crater Lake National Park in Oregon. My uh, survey site today is only 20 miles from the park. So I figured there's just no way that I wasn't going to uh, take a little bit of time, head down here and check out this amazing place. Like Crater Lake are just such an astonishing example of how the forces of geology in ancient time can be simultaneously profoundly violent. So this whole area was apparently a 12,000 foot tall mountain that 7,000 years ago just exploded and covered the landscape in rock and ash and over time snow melt and rain and these other things filled up the crater and this tranquil blue seam comes out of an event of such catastrophe. You know, it's just so amazing to me how just how deeply profound and epic nature can be and how something so calming can also have such a violent origin. It's just amazing.
Well, I have a uh, day off to go go film, so I'm gonna go explore some new areas. So I'm currently at a uh, Collier State Park, which is north of uh, Klamath Falls, and really just kind of an incredible site, just like right next to this kind of creek slash river area. Some of these just beautiful waters and some rapids, whitewater type areas, and gorgeous kind of dry coniferous forest, and lots of fun things to go see. So I'm gonna go uh, explore and see what the day holds. about kind of junction points between these sort of creeks with all that kind of gorgeous blue water and what we think of as this lush life and this dry forest just above and how they just kind of meet together in this really interesting way. It's, it's very different from the rainforest where everything is lush and full of life and growth. creeks like this just like all of the amazing kind of textures and colors that gets wrapped up in the way that the creek flows around and just like all these little gyres and eddies and just small small things of chaos that all just compile together into this super super beautiful thing just love it you know this is this, this amazing combination of power and disorder and hidden levels of just beauty and softness. I just love it. Creeks are amazing like that. 